Hey guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David, and tonight I am checking out Taskmaster. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers, and especially returning subscribers, what's up? I'm always excited to start a new show or movie, but there are some that I am extra excited about, and that is the case tonight with Taskmaster. I had never heard heard of this show until I watched Graham Norton, saw my boy Davies for the first time, instantly fell in love with him and his style, and so many of you said, if you like him, you need to watch Taskmaster, and I had no idea what that was. In fact, to this day, I'm still not exactly sure what it is, but it comes highly recommended by all of you. That is all I need to know. Other than that, I really don't know anything about it. It looks like it's been going since 2015, from what I saw, the little bit that I pulled up when I was trying to find the episode here. Uh, but it also looks like a lot of episodes, so I'm happy that there are several uh, to dive into. Now, I'm starting at the very beginning. Uh, I've heard many of you say, start there, and then when you get past that, just kind of jump around if you want. It's not the kind of show where you have to see you know, every single one of them in order. Uh, but a few of you have said to see the kind of progression and the growth, uh, you recommended starting with with series one, season one, as we see over here. Uh, either way, I think it's going to be amazing. I'm so glad you're along for the ride. And I will tell you quickly before we jump in, if you'd like to see the full version of this reaction, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything I edit out before it hits YouTube, you can find that over on Patreon, patreon.com slash David versus film. We've got Discord benefits over there, poll voting and more. So please check that out if you would like. I love and appreciate my patrons, but I certainly love and appreciate you here on YouTube as well. Please like, share, subscribe. All those things are completely free to you, and they really do help the channel out. So thank you in advance for that. But most importantly, please leave those amazing comments like you always do. That is my absolute favorite part. It is how I learn about things like Taskmaster, things that I've missed, things I'm not aware of. You guys are the experts, so I count on you, and I love the interaction we get to have there. So please, please do that. And last but not least, if we're not friends on Instagram, let's be friends. I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below. All right, boys and girls, let's grab our hymnals, turn to page 2015, and watch season one, series one, episode one of Taskmaster. Davies, my boy. This is called the melon I think I saw. Melon Buffet, okay, there we go. I, Greg Davis, make some accomplished but needy comedians do stupid things for me because I can. I'm a powerful man, look at me. The gravitas, I like it. It's because he's tall. Frank Skinner, Josh Whittaker, who clearly needs a haircut. <laughs> oh, I've seen him before on Graham Newton, I th or Graham Newton, Greg Norton, I think. Roisin Conaty. Ramesh Ranganathan. Ramesh a future poet laureate if some massive poet disaster happens. Tim <laughs> Kaye! Okay, good, some good people to meet. Alex Horn. Thanks, um, thanks for giving me this opportunity. You're welcome. <laughs> the difference in the chairs. Each of the contestants have brought in one of their own possessions and tonight you've asked them to bring in their most unusual item. Oh, that sounds fun, okay. I have brought in a pair of grape scissors. They have grapes on Don't their know. shaft. Oh, they have, I thought, to cut grapes. A um, football signed by the Plymouth Argyle squad that lost. <laughs> Did they lost. use invisible ink? Oh my God. So these are funny people, right? They're all funny. I found this old tramp poet next to the bench that he just carved into. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell already I like her. I can tell I, I'm gonna like her. I've brought in a snow globe. <laughs> My children photoshopped is Little Santa's. <laughs> Tim Key, what did you bring in? Reindeer skull. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I would want that, actually. <laughs> that, my friends, is how to play this game. <laughs> so we're of round one. Mr. Tim Key. Behind the point. Okay. I support that decision. Not that he needs it, but I support that decision. You've got the picture of yourself in fourth. And I, I would put that last if I could, but the football was so bad, I have to <laughs> It's an what? unsigned football. You've rubbed off the signatures and put me last. <laughs> Josh Widdicombe in last place, Tim Key in first place. Oh, so the five is points then, not position? The first task proper. I like the music. Oh, there's the melon, okay. Melon buffet. I'll be honest, this feels a bit kinky. <laughs> Is this my task? <laughs> See, I knew I'd like her. She's fun. I like her a lot. I like all of them, but she stands out to me right now. Eat as much watermelon as possible. Oh, Lord. You have one minute. The time starts when you open the door to the lab. I'm allergic to watermelon. 
Josh, we're going to see you first. Are you a melon fan? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a strange question, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I, I kind of agree with him on that one. But I do like watermelon quite a bit. When you're from the South in the United States, obviously watermelon is a staple. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you do better than that. <laughs> Confidence. I've seen my grandmother eating melon, and it seemed a similar sort of thing. I'll be honest with you, I think you've slowed down the footage. I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> See the master, Frank Skinner. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now, this guy is more like how I would probably do it. Just got to get in there, just raw. Yeah, see? He knows where it's at, yep. Yeah, I'm so far with his style. Look at Frank in a white boiler suit. He looks 12 years of age. <laughs> Plus that still, I mean, of course. Let's see how Conaty handled the melon. Oh, well, I need a thing. I need some sort of... <laughs> Can I go and get, I go and get it? I, I would. Oh, girl. Oh my God, no, you're wasting too much time. This, no, this jaw, this jaw. I knew I'd love this girl. Oh, we still got 15 seconds left to even started. Such a shame. <laughs> oh my God, you only eat like one bite. Oh, I've got so many questions. <laughs> you knew before you went into that room that the challenge was to eat as much melon as possible. And yet your reaction to seeing a melon on the table was, oh. <laughs> But she probably thought it was going to be cut, right? I thought it was going to be pre-prepared melon. Yes, <laughs> yes I, I, I see where she's coming from. Melon buffet is what I thought it was like. like a melon buffet, that's not a thing. <laughs> oh, melon buffet, there we go. How much melon did Roshan come to eat? She had one roll, like nine grams. Lovely. I'm with you, girl. You did good. We're going to see Ramesh and Tim together. I've grouped them and you'll see why. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. See, he came to win. He put all Gallagher on it. Jesus. Mm. I can't, I'm gonna throw up. If I throw up, we'll be way up. Oh! Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Woo! Josh Widdicombe gently spooning melon into his mouth to two oh psychopaths. <laughs> my, uh, my... <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be like a melon buffet. And then when I threw it, I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I get that. that. That makes sense. That checks out. If the melon's still inside you, it counts. No, oh, thank God for that. <laughs> because I think I produced more melon than I ate. <laughs> Tim ate 302 grams of watermelon, and Ramesh ate 301 grams. Oh, sh The way I measured it was scooping up and weighing what was left in the room. OK. Oh, that's smart. A bit of dodgy business with Tim. If you just want to have a look at this. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> How could you possibly, at the end of that task, go, do you know what I fancy? <laughs> I'm taking nine grams off you. The winner is Ramesh Ranganathan, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. Never thought I'd be getting into this as much as I am, but I really am getting into it now. It's a lot of fun. The leader is Tim Key, followed by Ramesh. And uh, Roisin and Josh are in last and second last. There are three tasks oh. to go, including a live task on the stage behind me. Okay, I wonder if there is going to be a live task. Good to know, good to know. Paint the best picture of a horse whilst riding a horse. Painting while they're on a horse. Oh, that's clever. Which again makes me respect how many episodes I saw and I just glanced at this show that they come up with all these tasks. Here are the five paintings of horses painted whilst riding horses. I think the bottom left is my favorite. Bottom right is clearly the best picture of the horse. Would you all agree with me? That was my number two. The top three are absolutely... The one on the left is by far the worst, in my opinion. That is one of the worst paintings I've ever seen in my life. It's genuinely infuriated me. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. This is fine. Okay, I'm going to like this show. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> <Any face>? <laughs> <laughs> that camera shot is my favorite horse cam the, the pov cam that's hilarious i quote how'd you make brown alex said how'd you think and you said blue <laughs> i had bigger problems than that i guess i was sort of somewhere thinking anteaters <laughs> it does look like an anteater i don't know what it is yet but there's a reason why roisin's been separated from the group so she killed a horse it's my history of horses. Would you trust us if we uh, came up with plan B? What's plan B? Oh, this would be good. <laughs> oh, Jesus, a mechanical horse. Oh, that's brilliant. The actual horse that you're going to be painting. 
I don't like plan B. <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. Based on where my horse was at that window, my painting is actually quite good. It was easier, he was already framed. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm afraid you have to be disqualified from this round and take last place. <gasps> Really? You don't think that's fair? I'll no. go last place, but not disqualified. That's fair, right? Okay, I'll go third. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what, what Davey says goes, but I don't like that. Mr. Frank Skinner, ladies and gentlemen. He did a pretty good job. But I liked her horse. She did fine. I like her. So I defend her. <laughs> oh, God. What's this now? Completely empty this bathtub. You must not remove the part plug, tip or oh. damage the bath. So like scooping? What? What didn't you understand about that task? <laughs> Are we seeing them first? If you if you want to, I'll do oh, whatever you want. I really to. do want to, yeah. Yeah, no, I can do that. I like the two of them together. They're a good host and assistant. I like both of them. Okay, so they can get things from the shed. Okay, yeah. This can't be the way to do it. Have you got a hoover? A hoover? It used to be a thing that ruffians used to do. <laughs> that would be me. 100% would be my luck. That's a, a lot more water than it looks like in that tub. With the paper towels. Oops, toilet paper. Yeah. I was kidding. I mean, I but, think you've got to say that's empty. Okay. He did good. Yeah. You both made it look incredibly difficult to empty a bathtub. I can't tell you how heavy those bins of bathwater are. I was about to say, yeah. Frank uh, did it in 7 minutes and 42 seconds. Josh, 8 minutes and 52 seconds. Close. So, Roshi, are you scared of water? No. Let's have a look. I walked over it with such conviction. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look this girl up in real life because she is so... I see so much of myself in her. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> No. I like Alex too, he makes me laugh. Kitchen? One minute. I've got one minute. No, one minute's gone. Oh. <laughs> See, after the melon thing, she's like, okay, I'm aware of the time now, you know, panicking. Girl. I had a big lunch, didn't I? <laughs> There's a bit left, I don't think I'm gonna get it out. Oh my god. How long was she? 10 minutes? 11 minutes? 12? It was less than a minute. Slower than Josh, but you didn't empty the bath in the end. Oh. So she did pretty good then, actually. I can only imagine what these two animals, how they approach this <laughs> task. Oh! Oh, he is smart! <gasps> That's true. Just put your whole body in there. But then he kind of like, I think, kind of fell short when he just starts splashing it out. Use a you use a tool. Like he's yeah, he's pretty good though. It's a camera. He's gonna win. He he's He's proficient enough, I feel like, with each task that he's, you know, gonna eke it out in the end, I wanna say. Well, I'm done. Incredible passion from both men. Enjoy yourselves. Yes, yeah, good, good time. <laughs> good time. There's one slight issue. Uh oh. If you just have a look again, you can just see the plug, but it wasn't in all the time. Oh, he's right. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> Disqualified. I didn't know that. I mean, we have got footage of you after the, um... <laughs> the melon thing, right? Yeah. Now you've established a pattern. What were you What's doing there? here, Tim? <laughs> That's me having completed the task, just having a little walk around. <laughs> you picked up the plug and put it back in the bath, but you disguised your actions. <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh! He is sneaky. Put the plug out of the bath and that's enough for you. You should go into last place. Yeah. Get all judgmental getting on your high horse. <laughs> I went last place. I'm in last place. I'm going to put him in last place. Judgment. Done. I like how decisive Davies is. One more task which will be done right here on the stage. Tim, will you cheat again? Yeah. <laughs> so what I love about this show and Graham Norton and the others just quickly is I get to meet all these new British faces I don't know and they're all hilarious in their own ways it's the dry it's the dry humor I love so much get Tim to read out the task would you pop up a tent get in the tent zip up the tent pop on a onesie in the tent emerge from the tent wearing the onesie no, I mean aren't we all going to get in each other's way hey, yeah, 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 yeah. all that you can do internally <laughs> <laughs> Frank's in his work. He's in. 
Frank is in. How much fun would it be to be live in the audience watching this? Are you in it, Roisin? Are you in the tent? Yeah. You're not in it. Hey there. You're not in it. Put it that way. <laughs> I can't. I love her so much. Still for very. Oh, look at it. Now, how did he cheat, though? Did he cheat? I don't know how he could have, but he has a history. What an incredible victory for Mr. Tim Keane. True. True. Let's have a look at the final scores, Alex. Here they are. Ooh. Tied. Oh, I like when this happens. We did a tie break task when I hid in an area of the task cottage, and they opened the task saying, Find oh. Alex. Alex got everything. He's got an answer for it all, right? Find Alex. Oh, we have that giant star, just like that. I know you don't care about that, but I just, you know, when you see something familiar, you just shout that out, right? Got him. There he is. Oh, Frank, look at you, buddy. <laughs> Two Hello, minutes. Yeah. Hello, not fast enough. That I like that little twist at the end. I did not see that coming. On the plus side, but I don't have that dog. No globe anymore, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frank Skinner, your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, Frank. Good job, buddy. Remember, learning to trust is one of life's most difficult tasks. Isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> so dramatic. Good night. Oh, that was really good. And he got his scissors back. Oh, that was like, for Dave. Hey, look at that. It was meant to be. That was a lot of fun. So here's how I'm gonna approach my thoughts on Taskmaster. First, overall, total thumbs up, absolutely. Cannot wait to watch more, loved it. That is just bottom line, there's no two ways about it. Getting into more specifics, I would say that I'm a type of person, I don't, I don't know how you are, I'm the type of person where yes, there are certain songs, shows, whatever, that can grab me from the very beginning and I love it all the way through, okay? First time listening, first time watching, whatever. This was not that, I will be honest with you. This was not that, uh, I enjoyed it, but I did not fall head over heels in love right away, okay? Uh, but I definitely see where with getting more familiar with the show and becoming, uh, so sort of watching future episodes of it, I know that's what's gonna happen. I know that I will. And then I'm gonna be like, how did I ever watch the first episode not appreciate it more than I should? I know me, I know me. But I will say that like, where I'm coming from in that statement is that I don't know a lot of these faces. So I'm learning these these guys for the first time. So for example, you know, trying to think like a comedian uh, that I really love is Wanda Sykes. You know, Wanda Sykes is someone who I enjoyed when I first saw her you know, thought she was really funny, but now that I'm more familiar with her and know her after many years, oh my God, I think she's just the funniest, funniest person in the world. She cracks me. The sound of her voice alone can make me laugh, right? One of those types. Joan Rivers, love Joan Rivers, love Joan Rivers, RIP, right? But what I'm saying is that all of these comedians, you know, or a lot of them anyway, I, I don't fall instantly in love with until I get to know them better. Uh, but, but I will say that each of the ones on this show uh, were very funny. And the way they approached the tasks, I just thought was also genius, you know? And and I gotta say, um, also kind of judging it on a first episode, look, I love Friends. Friends is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I, to this day, don't usually watch episode, or episodes, seasons one through three, even kind of four. Season five on is where I was just like really invested in this show and loved it. So, you know, it took me a little time to warm up to that even. And it's like, you know, one of my top five shows that I love. So, so I would say for this being the first episode of a first season or series, as, as I know you guys say in the UK, um, this was really good and stellar. I will say that. I loved the tasks themselves. I don't know who comes up with these. I don't know how they keep coming up with them based again, like I said, on the amount of episodes I just kind of saw when I was going to pick this one and saw it looks like multiple, you know, series over a short amount of time because this just started in 2015, right? Uh, and it looked like they already had a ton. And then there's like four tasks. What was it? Three, four, five uh, per episode. It's going to burn through a lot that way. Uh, but you guys have told me, do not, do not fear, you know, that that they bring it and that it only gets better. So I am definitely interested to see that. I think I'll probably continue with series one, uh, at least all the way through, and then maybe jump around based on what you guys say, because I definitely, and that's why I was telling you earlier, be sure to leave me comments because I get my guidance from you guys and I trust you as the subject matter experts to tell me uh, where I should go, you know, kind of in my quest to to watch all of these Taskmaster episodes. So yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And Davies, I loved, I didn't know Alex, his sidekick slash assistant, but I liked his vibe. 
Uh, I, I can see myself getting to where he will be one of my favorites the more I watch. Uh, Davies is one of those, I will say, though, from seeing him on Graham Norton, who I immediately liked right away. Uh, and the more I see him, the more I like him. But he is one of those where it was an instant love from 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 the get go. I like his style. I like the way he speaks. I like the way he tells stories. I like the way he responds. His facial expressions are good. So I really enjoy him as a host. I don't know if this is the same setting. I don't know if they maybe they go to different theaters each time or if it's going to be in the same spot uh, every episode. Uh, but if that's the case, I think this is a really cool setting. I love the poshness of it, the red and the gold. I love the giant throne he sits in and then the smaller one for Alex. I enjoyed that. Uh, but yeah, I like the pacing. It also never got slow. I never, you know, I mean, I wouldn't anyway doing this, but if I were watching this on my own time, not doing it for YouTube, I would not have looked at my phone. Probably I would not have gone to the restroom. I, you know, unless I really had to, I would, I was invested in other words in the episode to see where things went next. They kept it moving and it was funny. It was funny, but it also wasn't, you know, sometimes you watch these shows and they're kind of over the top, like too much, you know, uh, and you can tell they play for the camera. I have not had that experience with any of the British shows I've seen so far, this one included. It is very, you know, thoughtful, clever, really cerebral humor. And the physical comedy that you see is just a byproduct of their already innate funny personalities is how I feel. There's just not not a lot of that over the top slapstick kind of stuff, which doesn't always sit well with me. So this was this was really good. This is perfect. You guys again have nailed it. I have now seen Graham Norton. I have now seen what I lie to you, which I'm still working on Getting to a point that I can edit those and put them on YouTube without it gutting too much of the show, but also not violating copyright, this might be another one I'm going to have to try to play with to get my footing. So I haven't given up on what I lie to you. I really enjoyed that show. Really enjoyed this one. Love Graham Norton. I don't have any problems getting that one on, on YouTube um, without any kind of copyright violations, things like that, because I always have to be mindful of that. So yeah, but I'm definitely looking forward to... The other one I can't remember... I want to say it's 9 out of 10 cats, but I'm so bad about remembering. It's either 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, one or the other. But you guys have mentioned that one quite a bit too. I want to see it. And then as I mentioned, I think I said this earlier, that after, no, it was in a different video. I was talking about how much I loved Dawn French because I wasn't really familiar with her. And the reason I'm bringing her up is because in addition to these live you know, chat shows, or in this case, like a game show or, or sort of a, you know, competition type show. Uh, I want to see some of the scripted things as well. And I know a lot of you guys recommended seeing her in an old show called The Victor of Something with a D. And I can't remember what the name of it is, but I'm going to learn it. Victor of Derbyshire, something like that. But I'm just, as you have seen, if you've watched my other videos, I feel like I'm just dipping my toe into an amazing, amazing ocean of content uh, from the UK and some of these really amazing British shows. So thank you uh, for the ones of you who recommended this. Thank you for watching right now. I certainly appreciate that. If you don't mind, you know, if you found value in this video, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe is even more appreciated. Those things are free to you. They help me more than you can imagine. So thank you in advance for that. But more than anything, I'm just glad we got to spend some time today. I hope you have a great rest of the day slash night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble